I've been, I actually just didn't know what was happening. I just was like noticing how I was really unable to be in my body. And then today I was just, and last night, really committed to like feeling into my heart space. And I realized that there's just lots of energetic dissonance in my heart. Lots of shame. There's lots of sensations that are convinced they need something. Like when these sensations have been coming up recently, it's like, oh, I need to check my phone. Did I get something, you know? I need to, I need to, I need to, whatever it could be, I need this person. I'm gonna go seek a person or, or it's like, I need sugar. Um, it's like the psyche gets really convinced we can't just be with these feelings of whatever it is, whatever we want to call it in the heart, just dis-ease, you know? It's just like, I've been having this dis-ease in the heart center, like this, oh, something, like offness, you know? It's just, oh, something feels off, something feels dissonant, it feels separate from love. And so the mind, when it, it, it just automatically fires up when it starts feeling these feelings like, hey, what do we need to do to change this? What do we need to do to make things feel better? It's a totally innocent response from the mind, right? The mind will go into the feelings, but with kind of an agenda. Okay, I'm going into these feelings so I can figure out what the hell is going on. Like, what is off here? What do I need to do to fix this? You know, the mind will go into the feelings to kind of fix the heart or something. And noticing how the heart can feel that and sense that. And then it like the heart will put up a boundary or something like, no, you're not, I don't want to be fixed. Maybe we did that as children too. It's like we were crying and our parents were just doing the best they could, you know? What do you need to, to stop crying? And I was just having this, this moment where, you know, I've been committing to keeping my phone off this morning. And like every time I want to reach for the phone or reach to do go oh, get away from my heart center, it's just like, what if I just actually feel these feelings instead? And this morning as I was doing yoga in the park, mostly just sitting on a yoga mat in the sun, for being totally honest, <laughs> doing some yin yoga. I noticed how I was going into the heart with this agenda. And then how, as I just kept going into the heart, something realized that, oh, I'm trying to go into the heart to fix it, to figure it out, to make this feeling go away, to transform this feeling. And in that way, I wasn't really able to meet it fully. Because it was just like, I don't want to be fixed. I don't want to be trans. You know, this feeling was like, no, I don't want any of that. And then something somehow just through time and softening and just kind of this inner commitment to be with my heart space, I, I realized what that kind of energy I was bringing to the heart space and I just it just kind of fell away. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna label this sensation a problem. I'm not gonna make it mean anything. The mind is so good at making sensations mean something. And I'm not saying that is necessarily a bad thing or can't be helpful at times. But this morning, I, I just finally just let it not mean anything. And I just stopped trying to fix it or like figure out why this has to, you know, and I just started being with my heart center. And it really liked that. It was like, oh, thank you for just being with me and not seeing me as a problem. Not trying to sort me out not trying to create a meaning that either you're doing something bad and that's why this is here or you're out of alignment and that's why this is here or we need to do this 
and then that will make this go away or you know all these things we do from the spiritual egoic mind place and our heart can guide us and and, and our heart will send us signals when things are congruent and when things are not in congruence for us but to to it's like to really hear that we have to first will be willing to be with the heart space without knowing anything without having any conclusions about what the what the energetic dissonance in our heart means we have to drop any sense of self any sense of personhood any sense of the mind you know thinking it knows what something means, what a sensation means. We have to drop all of that first. We have to be willing to become nobody, to become completely empty, and to just be with our heart from this very pure place that doesn't want anything, that doesn't want to get rid of anything. And it's like that's when our heart can actually inform us of something. But first we have to like go through all the layers of the fixer, the doer, the one that's going to sort of, you know, figure it out, all that. We have to, like, surrender all of those layers first. And then it's, it's, we get into this really nice place with our heart where we're just feeling it. We're not looking for answers anymore. It's like, all right, I'm just going to be with you, heart. And you, you'll, you might, you'll still probably feel the feelings, but there will be a tenderness there, a sweetness there, a deep acceptance and surrender to what is. We'll start to, you know, kind of hmm, emanate in the isness, emanate in your field, you could say. And you might just discover like, oh, my heart is just really sad. You know, it's our hearts are probably just really sad. Might not have anything to do with what we're not doing right or doing wrong or whatever. It's like there's a lot of pain, you know? There's got to be so much pain right now in the collective heart. And the pain we're feeling in our hearts might not even be personal. It might just be the collective heart moving pain through our hearts, you know? And it's like once we strip ourselves bare of all these agendas of trying to get somewhere, of trying to feel different, we just let ourselves be sad or whatever for ourselves, for the collective. We notice this greater support come in, this greater presence, this greater love that can hold us, that can hold our heart while it's just sad. We realize we don't need to get anywhere. We don't need anything else, you know? It's like we've seen through the such the, the convincing beliefs that, that we can't be with this feeling. And we just let ourselves be with it. And it's like, oh, that's what we actually wanted the whole time. We just wanted to be with this feeling. As paradoxical as that can sound to the mind. As, you know, it sounds like so crazy to the mind. But we just wanted to be with the sadness more than we wanted to eat a donut. <laughs> or more than we needed that person. Or more than we needed something from our phone. We just wanted to be with what's in the heart space with no walls. That's what we wanted more than anything. So, yeah, sending you guys so much love. Thanks for being here. Thanks for your support via your donations. It really means a lot to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Namaste.